CBS 17 continuing to push for answers after several families asked for help involving the purchase of service dogs. We first broke this story three weeks ago. The Apex company, Rikon Service Dogs, is accused of selling untrained and, in some cases, aggressive dogs to families who have children with special needs. Tonight, we know the number of complaints filed with the Attorney General's office against the company has climbed to 49. Complaints spread across 21 states. CBS 17's Kelly Kennedy has tried multiple times to speak with the company's owner, Mark Mathis. Kelly, what happened today? Well, when I first reported this story in early January, I went by Mark Mathis's home and he told me he had no comment on the investigation against him. Well, I called him a couple of days ago and he agreed to talk with me. But ever since then, he's been ducking my phone calls. After the owner of Rikon Service Dogs didn't answer his phone, I went by his home. I saw Mathis inside, but he refused to answer the door. Not sure if you're purposely avoiding me, but I do know at this point you've done at least two interviews with other stations, so I'm not sure why you would be refusing to speak with me. The only option we were left with is to let you hear a portion of an interview Mathis did with our sister station in Spartanburg, South Carolina, another state where people claim Mathis's company left them high and dry. As bad as this was, it wasn't us trying to sell or scam or anything. It was trying to make something very special happen that, that unfortunately fell, fell apart. And, and it was extremely devastating uh, for me and my family. I, I, I put all I had into this. And uh, I think the world of these families. Rikon service dogs shut down in the end of November. But many families tell me they started having problems with the company well before then. What we got was a dog that was aggressive, a dog that started fights with our other dogs, and eventually bit my son. And none of that sounds like a service dog. Christian Poirier is just one of dozens of parents who say they spent thousands on a dog that was not fit to be a service animal. Families and former employees have filed complaints with the Attorney General's office. Mathis claims he did not take a salary, but still worked seven days a week at his nonprofit, Rikon. I can certainly be accused of, of making some, some bad business decisions. But um, my, my goal and intent uh, were, were consistently for the good of this community. Mathis says he hopes to pay these families back, but he's been devastated financially. He's filed for bankruptcy, freezing the multiple small claim suits against him. I have apologized. I will continue to apologize. I want them to know that I'm not forgotten about them. Now, I picked up eight new complaints at the Attorney General's office today, and among some of those new complaints is this one from a former dog trainer at Rikon. His name is Brian Berry, and he says while he worked there, he witnessed some pretty alarming things, including some dogs that appeared to be totally untrained even after they've been in training for months and also were aggressive. Now, in his complaint, he also said, I've never seen a scam of that magnitude. The dog training world is a shady business, but that was a complete ripoff. The dogs were aggressive, fighting in between cages, extremely under-socialized, and afraid of people. Now, the Attorney General's investigation is ongoing.